whether you're writing an article for your journal or you're writing a newsletter, maybe you are sending your friend a text message, marketing your skills, your services, a product, doing public speaking, making an online video like this, there is a translation theory that you can benefit from greatly. And that is Skopos theory. Skopos, coming from the Greek word meaning purpose, was developed by German linguist Hans Vermeer. He believed that there is always a purpose or a reason for translating a text. Once we have this purpose or reason in mind, we can then paint an image of our end user, who is the person or people that will be using the text. For example, teachers in a school, doctors in a hospital, or researchers in a lab. Once we have our end user and our purpose, we can then use those to help navigate us through the text and translation, and also our decision making, such as the terminology we should use, as well as the style and the tone of the text. Skopos theory also brings in other translation theories and methods, but we'll discuss those in later videos. All you need to know now is that Skopos theory gives us the idea that there are just as many possible translations of a text as there are reasons for translating it. Now, how does that benefit you? Well, I want you to think about anything that you want to write or talk about publicly. Then think about the reason why you want to do it. Is it to inspire or is it to inform? Whatever. Once you have that in mind, you can then paint an image of your end user or your target audience. For example, will it be adults? Will it be children? Or will it be people within a particular profession, such as engineering, sports, insurance, whatever it may be. Once you have that in mind, you can then think about the language you want to use, such as will it be informal, formal or technical. Technical language is the words and phrases we use when we discuss a particular topic. For example, the words and phrases you use when talking about football will not be the same as those when you talk about insurance. Now, when you're doing public speaking, it's very important to take into consideration your appearance because this has an impression on your target audience. So think about whether you want to wear something formal, like a shirt and tie, maybe a suit, or something less formal, more casual, like jeans, shorts, maybe a casual shirt or t-shirt, whatever it may be. Now, the best thing about this theory in terms of helping you is that it allows you to revisit the same topics over and over again. All you have to do is change your purpose. For example, if you want to talk about insurance and you want to be informative, well then you can talk about how insurance can benefit people. Then if you want to revisit the topic, then you may want to inspire people and try to recruit people to join your insurance company or even possibly open their own. So there you have it. There is no one way to write or to talk about a topic. All you have to do is change your scope bus.